Boys and girls, Wild Card Weekend surely was wacky. It, it sucked. Time surely for wasn't it wild. Oh, no, it, it wasn't, wasn't wild, wild at all. It, it sucked. Wild. But it was watched. But it's time for some for the first divisional <laughs> playoffs. And divisional playoffs, much better but playoffs. If, it's a, if this week doesn't make up for it, <laughs> I'm going to be upset. Here's Let's the thing. This upset. is a consensus. The divisional round is always the best round of the yeah. playoffs. Yeah, it is. It's, it the, is. it's a still a good amount of games. Yeah. They're all good teams. The washed up teams are out. Yep. The posers are out, yep. and the good teams are in. Yep. So now, hopefully, we get some better games because let's be real, that was one of the worst wild card weekends that I've ever terrible. seen. That was terrible. Blowouts, all blowouts. That was yeah. that was bad, except for the Raiders. Yeah. It was what like we had two five blowouts, two good games. That was it. <laughs> yep. And the one good game wasn't even close, and it wasn't even close the entire first half. No. Yep. I mean, there was a comeback, which is cool, but like, okay, whatever. I'm not even going <laughs> to rant about it, but still. That seemed a little bit shoot. Like rant-like. It maybe, was. Maybe That's why I stopped myself. Everybody was so sketchy uh-huh. about that rigged game with the Raiders and Chargers. Well, they, they didn't want like, to make any of these so they're like, oh, there's no way people would think it's rigged. <laughs> you know what, TJ? That's your big Now we're back thinking. to rigging it this week. So let's find out who rigged. the NFL is going to rig to win. The Titans versus the Bengals. TJ, we'll start with you. Oh, what is Look. <laughs> I have a winner for every. Uh, for there's four games this week, and I, I have a winner. I have a winner oh, every single for every single game. All right, you want me to start? This one. That's what yes. I'm saying. This All one's right. tough. This is a tough game. It starts right on top, and unfortunately, I have the Tennessee Titans beating the Cincinnati Bengals and moving on. Okay. This is the easily is the toughest tough. one. Yeah, yeah. I want to pick. The, I want to pick the Bengals, but I really want to. Because here's the thing: bracket. I had the Titans moving on. <laughs> But they were but playing, they were the, playing Raiders. the Raiders at the time, which is a different. This is a different story. Yeah, I know. It's weird. This I know we didn't have the Raiders uh, or we didn't have the Bengals. Joe and I didn't have the Bengals winning, but the Bengals playing the Titans is a lot scarier than the Raiders yeah, playing the Titans. Yeah, I don't know if I'm that makes big, sense. I'm not a, the biggest believer in the Titans. That's why I'm like, oof. Well, AFC, it's the first, second, third, and fourth seed that moved on. I'm gonna say right now, I'm picking Bengals. I'm going Bengals. Oh. You going Bangs? I'm going Bangs. Bangs, Bangs for the Langs. I'm going Bengals too. I bang. I just can't. TJ. Well, yeah. History's got to repeat itself. Last week, me and you picked <laughs> the Bengals. You guys picked the Raiders. <laughs> so true. I'm going right. to go Titans. <laughs> so the main thing about the Cincinnati <laughs> Bengals is, or the Titans, I should say, is their defense is it, it's either hit or miss. And if they miss, mm-hmm. they're not going to yeah. be able to keep up with the Cincinnati Bengals. No, you're offense. 100% right. To be honest, the only reason why I'm picking the Titans is just because I want to stick with the bracket that I originally had. This could go either way. I, I genuinely think the Bengals could beat the Titans. I think, like Joe mentioned in another video, I think it, it could be a possibility of the Bengals kind of blowing out the Titans. I, but I could see that. Uh, it, I this know. is the we'll chance. Right, no, yeah. Out yeah, of all the games, yeah. this is a game I could see the... They're being a blowout. Yeah. I, I'm, I hope the chance. Bengals move on. I really do. I really, yeah. really do. That's that's. I like. It's got to come that's down to the Derrick Henry, dude. Yeah. If that's Derrick Henry one. could go off, I think it comes down to the Titans' defense because I don't know yeah. what to expect from them. I don't know either. Yep. I man, they could give up yeah, a ton but, of points. I mean, Derrick Henry could do good, and they keep Bengals' offense off the field. You know, I mean, that's also true. Game. Yeah, that's also true. I'm just thinking like the Titans' defense has been. Pretty bad all season until yeah. the last month or so. They had some really good the Bengals games. Bengals have too many weapons. Though. Like, how good could their defense be against them? Right, I know. That's that's why the matchup here is a lot yeah. more scary for the Titans than if the Raiders were to move on because yeah. the Raiders' offense is a lot less scary. They're more yeah. of a defensive team, in my opinion. They're actually pretty balanced, but yeah, Bengals are too scary. I'm. This is the toughest pick. I'm yep, going Bengals too. though. Yep, that's the toughest pick. But the next one, second seed versus the third seed, Chiefs. <laughs> And Bills. Oh, let's go. This is an exciting game. Logan. Buffalo! Here we go, Buffalo. <laughs> Buffalo. Buffalo! Oh, I feel so good about Buffalo. Wow. The way they play. The thing is, Buffalo and the Chiefs were two of the teams that played the best. Who would you say had a better game last week in the wild card? Buffalo. Buffalo. Yeah, no. They scored a touchdown on yeah. every possession. Yeah. They're the first team ever to not yeah. play. Or, right, they scored yeah. a touchdown on every Now, possession. beating the Patriots or beating the Steelers is that is one more impressive than the other? Not necessarily. Well, what Buffalo did, I, mean, I, I think it's more impressive. impressive because they literally scored a touchdown every single And possession. the Patriots' defense is not bad. Like the Chiefs, like yeah, they ended up blowing us out, but at least we had a quarter where like Mahomes turned the ball over twice. Yeah, but yeah. then after that, it was like 500 yeah. yards. They both had very <laughs> impressive victories. And I, running back. I genuinely think this game is going to be completely different than those. I think this is going to be a very close game. <laughs> I think it's going to come down to the wire, and I think Chiefs are going to move on. Wow. Chiefs are winning this game, yeah. Chiefs. 
Bill was beat the Chiefs this season. Yeah, yeah. They got, they're going to do it Yeah, twice. but that's not the game they care about. They care about the I, playoff redemption game. I know. Dang. But oh, man. This I, is, I, yeah, I can't AC see it. Yeah. I, I can see, see it. it. I can see it. I and that's why it. I say Buffalo. Buffalo. Let's <laughs> get it. Let's yeah, go, I can make Buffalo out. in this game, dude. I, they are. Uh, what again? What they did was so impressive. They're the first team ever. To ha- it was like considered a perfect offensive game. No turnovers. Yeah. Until and they no, could it, be what they it. did, it was super impressive, and I'm not going to take away from that. But again, we were talking about how the Patriots have just been kind of on the decline. Oh, dude, but Patriots didn't look that hot the whole end of the mm, season. So both their defense, their defense though. Like their defense, I feel like is better than the Steelers' defense. So, like for what the yeah, Bills, I mean, you have to say that. You uh, have to yeah. Say yeah. So for what yeah. the Bill, like for what the Chiefs did to us versus what the Bills did to the Patriots, I feel like the Bills are just whoa, like that was way more impressive. I mean, they're both impressive, so I don't want to <laughs> disregard what the Chiefs did. I know, th- I, yeah, yeah, I know. I know the Bills but then again, just did to New England, but, but when they're. Pro- Good team. I don't right. know how I. I don't know that the fact that they beat them earlier in the season. That's where I'm like. That was when the Chiefs were like questionable. Exactly. Hey, they're they still might be questionable. Yeah. Oh, this is my favorite game of the week. This is the one Absolutely. that I can't wait to watch. I'm actually going to be nervous for it. Like, this I want the Bills to win so bad. <laughs> well, of course you do. You have six hundred dollars on the line. But I like, could cash out <laughs> right now for ninety bucks. I'm holding my nuts. <laughs> I'm going for the full six fifty. Wow. Hey. If they beat these Chiefs, Until I really like twenty four at half and you start sweating. Hey, look, <laughs> I, I really it. feel like they could beat the Chiefs. I genuinely they do. They could. I respect any it. of these teams can beat any of these teams. That's why it's such, that's why divisional round is so good because yeah, it's just you don't right. know what's gonna happen. Like Bills and Chiefs, in my opinion, are one and two in the AFC. This could be better Even than the Super Bowl. Even though it's not ranked like that, no. this hey, is we'll this could be the b- literal Super Bowl. I hope like, not. I mean, Chiefs and Bills, like that is such a good. <laughs> yeah, no, this would be a Super Bowl game. This I is know. like a, like caliber teams. I feel like this would literally be this game could be better than the actual Super Bowl. I this wish they would have met the AFC Championship though, because like I could see I the know, Bills right? or the Chiefs kind of like I'm picking whoever wins that game. I'm picking to go to the, the Super Bowl. That's what I do too. So that's what I. Do, I don't think e- I think they could both be the Titans and the Bengals. Yeah. Next up, we got the Green Bay Packers versus the 49ers. 49ers with a little bit of upset action. Go, Joe. We all expect it. Go, Joe. <laughs> Put Listen, it all out there. Go, Joe. I <laughs> wanted to have the Packers in the NFC Championship. If they would have played, oh, honestly, maybe anybody else, oh I would have had them moving on. Oh, my wow. gosh. But they are 0-3 in the playoffs against the 49ers. <laughs> that ain't no lie. Nick Bosa coming back. He better come back. Warner coming, coming back. back. Warner coming back. Fine. Phone away with all these Google stats you got. <laughs> They're owing, I mean, what else you want me to say? They're zero three against the 49ers in the playoffs. Oh, I got the 49ers winning this game oh. as long as Jimmy G. You stop turning that ball over. <laughs> if they don't turn oh, that ball over, to. he has to because he let the Cowboys if, get back exactly. In the game. If, yes. if Jimmy G. throws picks and turns the ball over. Packers will win. Yeah. If Dog. they if they cannot turn the ball over, 49ers are going to run that ball, and they're going to beat them Packers. In my opinion, I got the Packers winning this one. I don't know. 49ers didn't look too impressive to me against the Cowboys. In my opinion, the Cowboys were kind of just there by, by luck. They kind of, again, fell off like a lot of the other teams. So, in my opinion, I think the, the Packers are going to go to the championship. The oh. Packers are too complete. <clears throat> they're too complete. Yeah. The Fine 49ers well, aren't going to be able to Dude, they, they are too complete. The and other times that they lost playing? in the playoffs. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. I know Nick Bosa left. When's the last time they played each other, though? Uh, NFC Championship two years ago? Three years ago? I don't know when it was. When the 49ers made it to the ball. 49ers beat them in the wild card divisional round and NFC Championship. That's why that's the only three. Here's the thing. Throughout, I think, since 2012. They played earlier this season. a long time. Packers won 30 to 28. Close game. Came down to a field goal. Mm-hmm. I think the Packers have just. Establish themselves. Their defense is there. Their offense is there. I can't see them losing this game. I just can't. I well, I'm not gonna say I can't see them losing this game. I'm picking the Packers also. But the 49ers are scary in the way that they're able to utilize their players on offense. With Debo yeah, Samuel Debo being able to run the ball, he's going. He's been going crazy. Yeah. They didn't even use George Kittle really, mm-hmm. which is surprising. Just he's kind of just like a run blocker now, yeah. which is surprising. But he can go off at any time. Mitchell's been doing good. I like the 49ers defense, at least their front seven. But, oh, man, I just don't know if I could trust Garoppolo. Can't. 
Because you've seen how we let him come back in the game. But to be fair, on the other hand, in Week 18, he led them to the comeback that even it got them into the playoffs. It comes down to the 49ers being able to run the ball. Because, again, they smacked the Packers in the NFC Championship, running. but he only threw the ball like I'll six say times. Running, yeah. He yeah. most had like 220 yards that game. Yeah. So is Mitchell going to be able to do that? Oh, man, that's tough. Because he's coming back. You got, you got, back. You got so Debo, too. Players back too. Jair Alexander's yeah. coming back like at just the right time. The Packers are getting all their players back at just the right time. The Packers definitely seem like the most complete team now. I want to see them play. If they play super good against the 49ers, it'll probably be my new like Super Bowl pick like over Buffalo. Wow. I want to see what they do. Yeah. But yeah. You're picking I, the I'm not. Yeah, I'm going to go Packers. Okay. Last up, we got the Bucks and the Rams. This is a good dude, one. Dude, I'm so happy the Rams handled the Cardinals, <laughs> dude. That oh, just gave me, some, that gave me some, like, new hope in them. Like, I mean, I think they could still do it, but that just, that was nice. That, they dominated the crap out of them. Yeah? Dominated. So who do you have winning this game? I got the Rams, dog. I, I got the Rams. I will say, after the, watching the Rams and Cardinals game, it did change my mind. It literally changed my mind because I had, I had the Cardinals winning that game. They obviously didn't win. The Rams showed up, blew them out. We also got to remember that the Buccaneers had a really good game. Granted, it was versus the Eagles, well, but they they came in and did everything they had to. Like they dominated. Yeah, good. but I think the way that the Rams played last night is just like, they. I feel like the Cardinals were like nothing to them. They were just like, all right, let's get this over with. Let's move on to the next round. I feel like. Oh, dude, after that, I feel like they do have a shot to go to the Super Bowl, and I do have them winning. These are all games that they all met in the regular season. Every single team? No, Titans and Bengals didn't play. Steelers played the Titans. Uh, Yeah, Titans and Bengals played. No, they didn't. I swear they played. I don't know if they did. I know the Steelers played the Titans, but we didn't play that division, right? They didn't play each other? I I thought the Titans and Bengals didn't play each other. Bengals and Titans did not play. Okay, so three out of four. Okay. Because Bengals definitely played the Chiefs. I know that for sure. Obviously, that was the last week. Yeah. Yeah. So, so anyway. Logan, what are you going with? I'm going the Bucks here. Uh, again, I th- the Rams looked amazing, but I, I, the Cardinals, in my opinion, didn't look that impressive the whole end of the season. I don't think the Cardinals were once what they were. Bucks do have a lot of trouble kind of with their receiving core. They, they didn't do terrible against Philly, but it does concern me that they have a lot of kind of weapons that are gone now. Godwin's not here. Antonio Brown, obviously, he's doing whatever he's doing now. <laughs> but this, I think, is going to be a really close game. It's going to be a tough game. Rams looked very dominant, but I have the box just slightly going ahead of them. I think the Rams defense is going to be able to fluster Brady, and it's going to oh, ruin man, their whole offense. Know. Can anybody really fluster Brady besides know. that one Saints game where he lost all of his players? I feel like if they have the same game they had against the Cardinals, Brady will get fl- like you've seen Kyler yeah, Murray. But the, Cardinals are a team so that, the Cardinals are a team that's been falling off. Yeah. The Buccaneers haven't been falling off. Uh, I mean, they haven't, but at the same time, they've been losing a lot of people. If but they're they, good. Can, they're, if they they're can get like one, if they can get two interceptions, I feel like it's just game over. Yeah, but who's more likely to get two interceptions, the Rams or the Bucks? I think Stafford's more likely to throw. That's He's, what I was thinking. It, that's I feel like that's what it comes down to is the turnover game, and like against the Cardinals, the Cardinals like first five drives was three and out. So it's like, yeah. Yeah. if they can get anywhere close to that with the Bucks, ah uh, man, it's it comes over to the turnover game for me. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I don't want to talk about the box because I'm picking the Rams, but Leonard Fournette should have an extra week of rest also. He wasn't yeah. even playing. Play. Yeah. But again, it was versus the Eagles. Was versus the Eagles. Astros also, there. Rams beat them in the regular season. That's true. Stomped on them. That's true. And Redemption they art. beat them again <laughs> in Tampa. Ladies and gentlemen, let us know your thoughts. Let us know who you're picking this week. Let us know who you have going to the Super Bowl if your first team got eliminated. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.